Hey guys, it's Dave with uh, Ham Depot checking in there. So I started this journey into getting ham radio about a year, year and a half ago. Knew about it before, um, but I was always intimidated just basically for the fact that mentioned before could be cost prohibitive. I thought I'd have to go out, um, basically buy this giant radio for thousands of dollars before I could even get on the air. And then I did a little bit of research and I quickly came upon this little baby right here. It's called the Baofeng UV5R. And I think there's a newer model out now, but this gets you into ham radio for around fifty dollars if you're in the states it's a little bit cheaper um, this is what they call a two meter radio actually it gets two meter and seventy centimeter and some other frequencies but we won't get too deep into that but this is basically a ham radio now am i going to talk to somebody in japan with this no uh, basically what this is a two meter radio a two meter radio, or the two meter band, uh, works on what's called uh, a repeater. So, if you go on a website, it's called repeaterbook.com. Look up your town, or the area, or the city that you're in, and you're going to find that there's repeater stations everywhere you look. There might be, I think in the city that I'm in, there's like eight in uh, my area, eight repeater stations, and basically what the uh, repeater stations are, or is there, it's a specific frequency for that antenna, and this uh, radio uh, can act just like an old-fashioned walkie-talkie, where I have a walkie-talkie on this frequency, and you have another walkie-talkie on the same frequency, and, and we can just talk together. The problem with that is on these little radios or your little uh, handheld radios that you get from Walmart is they have a limited range, mile or a kilometer, depending on where you're at, because it's they're called what's called line of sight. So your two meter wave, and I'm not gonna pretend to be a radio wave scientist here right now, but it's line of sight. Basically, it'll hit the radio wave will hit a building, hit a brick wall, hit a car, boom it's seriously um, stops flowing as much. So line of sight. These repeater stations though, they put these giant antennas uh, on top of buildings or mountains. Um, I'm gonna put a uh, link below, but if you go on the repeaterbook.com, I'll show you this link. There's one on the Empire State Building. Um, so if you ever see the Empire State Building, if you look really close at the top, there's a whole bunch of antennas and some of them I'm sure for cell phones and other things, but somebody up there chucked a two meter repeater station up there on top of it. So they're everywhere. Uh, okay. I, I, don't, I couldn't find one on the Eiffel Tower, but there's tons in Paris also. So it's really interesting, go on repeaterbook.com. There's also different apps out there uh, so you can quickly look on your phone or your iPad for different stations. But basically what a repeater station does is I only have like one or two kilometer range with this thing, but because that antenna is like way up high, I can hit that antenna because there's no buildings in the way, line of sight. And um, my friend who might be on the other side of that ant antenna uh, with his little radio can hit that. So we can change the range on this antenna or on these little radios instead of just a mile or two or a kilometer or two uh, 10 miles or eight, 8 miles there's different uh, guys that do experiments on how far they can reach with these things now this is a touchy subject these things some people in the ham community I've looked up like them say they saved ham radio and other guys like completely freak out and tell call you a horrible person for owning one of these things um, for me, I'll probably upgrade at some point, 
But for now, I'm like good spending. I think I bought this for 40 or 50 bucks on Amazon a year ago. And I'll probably upgrade at some point, but this is this is a gateway drug into ham radio. Um, you can do, uh, I think it's PK31, where we can send uh, basically text messages to one another on this. Um, you can take off this little antenna and you can actually make a bigger antenna to go extend your range and we'll get into that later on that's another video I'd like to do there's tons of videos of guys doing that but I'm gonna do it too so and um, so there's a whole bunch of things we can do uh, we're not gonna talk to somebody in Japan with this but we're going to be able to just get into ham radio learn about frequencies um, start developing an ear on how to listen on on radio and if you go to your local radio club's website, sometimes they, uh, mine in particular, they've posted nets, what time those nets are. And basically what a net is, is it's a time specified during one day uh, or one evening where just a bunch of other hams get on the two meter radio uh, repeater and they just chat. Uh, they might chat about ham radio or they might chat about an upcoming hip surgery nothing too mind-blowing on there um, but it you know, might get into the community of uh, ham radio operators and meet somebody there also check out your local club I plan on checking mine out pretty soon in the future and I'll give you a little web update video update on how that goes um, what else can I say about this ham radio? Oh, you don't have a license, I don't have a license, but I can buy one. You can buy one. These aren't illegal to own. Uh, you're going to see uh, people say that they are illegal to own. They are not illegal to own. There's some frequencies outside of the 2 meter and 70 centimeter uh, band that, because of the power that this thing gives off, um, you're not supposed to talk on that. So. At Walmart, you get your little walk, $30 walkie-talkies that uh, you can take out camping with you. On that frequency, which is outside of the 2 meter and 70 centimeter uh, frequency, this thing can get on that, um, but you're not supposed to talk on it. You can listen to it, you can't talk on it. Speaking of which, we can own one of these. Um, we're going to program it, and I'm going to show a video uh, upcoming. I'm going to get a Chirp software, C-H-I-R-P, and um, I'm going to program some local repeater stations. I did something really stupid. I programmed this manually last year, and I was monkeying around with the buttons, and I absolutely erased everything. But I programmed it manually. It was a daunting task, and I felt like a real idiot when I uh, reset everything. But, um, yeah, we're going to program it. So you can, like, listen to local repeater stations in your, your area. Um, what else can I say about this? Yo, so yes, you can own it, you can listen to repeater stations, but the one thing you and I cannot do, because we are not licensed, is right here, there's a little button, and in ham radio, just like everything else, there is AFNs, or sorry, AFAs, another freaking acronym. So the acronym we're going to learn today is PTT, that's a push to talk button, in case you didn't know that. If you did know that, I'm not insulting what you know, just there's so many acronyms that I thought that'd be a good one to know. Anyways, that's basically your your talk button. So you can listen, you can't talk. Until um, you get your license, then you can talk away, but you and I don't have that. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. It comes with a nice battery, it comes with a really nice desktop charger. With that being said, uh, if there was an emergency, and you you ran this you ran the battery out don't I, I wouldn't recommend going out and getting a second battery or a car charger battery which you can get uh, what I would honestly recommend which I bought was this little unit right here and so your little battery on the back of the bale fang this pops off and you can replace it with this guy right here and just for demonstration sakes, I've already got this apart. 
But basically, if you can see right here, it takes six AA batteries. So if you were an emergency um, or the power was out for an extended period of time and you need an extra, extra power, uh, this little battery pack, you can scrounge up some AA batteries around your house and you can uh, keep on talking. You can't right now because you don't have your license, but you can keep listening. Two meter, um, a lot of local hams in the area, they um, get involved in emergency uh, um, services. Um, so there's going to be a lot of communication during a power outage or some sort of an emergency. So there's going to be a lot of activity with hams on the two meter. That's when it's really it's time to shine. Um, not going off on a tan or a side note here, but uh, survival guys, uh, preppers, this is this is their go-to. So uh, if you're on ever on a prepper site, they'll be talking about bale fangs. Um, so yeah, this is like a prepper's favorite weapon. Uh, <laughs> Well, probably not, but anyways, um, you'll, you'll hear about these a lot if you're on there, and they're really good for emergency uh, situations, uh, if there's a local emergency in your area. Um, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of projects that I'm going to be doing with that Bayo Fang coming up in ham radio, and what I really think is cool about that is, you know, we're going to do things like make antennas. And we're going to do things like get into uh, CW or Morse code. And that'll just kind of lay out the foundation as we get deeper into this hobby. And, uh, you know, without spending a ton of money. And you know what? Um, you own this thing a year or two down the road. Uh, it's been collecting dust in your garage. You can easily sell that thing on Craigslist or Kijiji or whatever online online place you guys classified you have in your area you know you'll probably be out ten bucks lose ten dollars on the deal like these things are so easy to sell online or on classifieds if you ever want to get rid of them so anyways uh, I have more upcoming videos if you have any questions or comments probably won't be able to help you out too much with your questions but if you have any comments put them down below and just remember to subscribe to my uh, channel and I'll talk to you guys later. All right.